Hello, welcome back to another video on Venova Collectibles. Today, we have my biggest CGC return ever. Um, I think there's eight books here uh, that I submitted in March. It's now mid-June. It's about a three month turnaround. It's about what I expected, really. So these books, some of them are for the personal collection. Some of them will be going up on VenovaCollectibles.com. Not 100% sure which ones I'll be keeping, which ones I won't be. Kind of depends on the grade, because when I sent this off, what I now want to do with my collection is a little bit different. Um, there's one in here that I'm definitely keeping, the House of M number one variant, my favourite comic series and such a beautiful cover. We've got some Spider-Man in here, we've got some Thor, we've got all sorts. Um, first of all guys, just want to say massive support for all the all the love on the channel and all the love on the shop. The launch has been insane. I apologise for a reduced number of videos this week. I've been so busy. Um, when I've not been preparing new stock to upload, I've been sending orders. When I've not been sending orders, I've been doing vice versa. All around my actual full-time job, but I am really, really loving it. So I really do appreciate all the support. And if you haven't yet, go check out VenovaCollectibles.com. Venova-Collectibles.com. Link is in the bio. Um, all the stuff there, some of the stuff that you see today will come up on sale. So, as for this stack, they're all moderns. I think the oldest one is the Spider Man um, 375. That's the oldest one. I'm hoping for some high grades. Some of these I bought like brand new on release, um, like last year. Some of them I've had in my collection for a little bit longer. So there's probably going to be some variation, but I'd really, really like to see hitting above that 9 mark. If we can get some 9.8s, fantastic. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's dive in. I'll just remove all of the packaging. Right, so we're ready. Um, I've tried my best not to see the grades. I have seen a couple. I think I've seen the top one and the bottom one. Um, you know, it's going to happen. I think next time I need to organise my partner to sort them all out for me so I'm there out of packing and stuff. But we're gonna start with the Captain Marvel 16, the Peach Momoko variant. I absolutely love this cover. So there's two in here. There's this, which is the variant, and there's the other one, which is the trade dress. One of them is gonna be for the personal collection. One of them is gonna be going up for sale. I haven't fully decided yet. If the variant's a 9.8, I'll probably keep that. Um, because you know it's, it's a limited edition, limited numbers, and uh, we'll see. I apologise for the reflections, but let's go. Which side is it? Is it this side? It is this side. And it is... Oh no, it's not. It's the other side. But there we go. It is a 9.8. Comic Mint Virgin edition, edition. Captain Marvel, number 150 in Legacy. I absolutely love this. The only... The only thing that annoys me about about the tag on this is that this is limited to I think it's a thousand it might be two thousand anyway it's limited it doesn't say the number like I have I I had the the COA with it I know they don't do anything with COAs like but you know it just confirms what it is and it had the numbering on it. I, I do wish it said number X out of X, but that is glorious. I absolutely love this cover. Um, and we're off to a good start with the 9.8s. This one is a big book. Four, number one, first Jane Foster as four. This is one that I've had in my collection for a while. So, I'd be very, very surprised if it got a 9.8 because, you know, it was stored in with boxes and stuff. Um, I think when I looked at it, this was prior to sending it off to be pressed and cleaned, I said about a 9.0 or 9.2. So hopefully that could have been bumped up a 9.4. It won't be a 9.8. A 9.4 and 9.6 wouldn't go amiss. I'd be very pleased with that. And we have got... It is a 9.4. That is lovely. This is a great, great cover. Um, this one, this one again, will probably be coming up for sale. Um, I do have something that I want to do with like the gender swap characters, like for 
Spider Woman, She Hulk, all that stuff. But I think for that, for me, I'm going to go for the What If for my collection. So this will be coming up for sale. It's a very, very nice book. Let's go again. We got this time. Here it is. This is Amazing Spider Man 375. As I said, this is the oldest one that I sent off, I believe. This is what, mid 90s? Well, it's going to be mid 90s with a fantastic Hoyle, Hoyle cover, the foil cover. This is the first Anne Wayne who goes on to become um, She Venom. And this is just a classic cover. Um, I can't remember what condition this is. This did have some dinks in it. Um, and with it being a foil cover, it's not as easy to press. I'm going to go over 9.2. Is a 9.0 white pages. Around about what I expected. Very, very nice. This is one that will stay in my personal collection. Um, this, yeah, this is this is this is another one for me. Um, had it been super high grade, like a nine point eight, I might have considered selling it. But that grade, I'm happy with it. That is staying in my personal collection. Right, let's go again. All ah, right, so this is the second appearance of Carnage, three hundred and sixty two. This is planned. This was planned for my personal collection to go with my 361, and I've now got a 363, but I might get one graded. It kind of depends. I think my 361 is a 9.4 off the top of my head, so if this is around the same, I'll be happy. 9.4! Absolutely perfect. So that matches perfectly with the 361. Now, now I need to remind myself if that is a 361. If it is a 9.2, I'm probably going to have to flog it just that to get them to match. Very, very pleased. So we've got a King in Black variant. We've got a Secret Wars variant, which I believe is this one. We've got a House of M variant. And another Captain Marvel, I believe. Right, Secret Wars number one. Now this one is my brother's. So... I actually said to him, do you want me to send it off for grading? I would then either give it back to you or sell it for you and then give him the money. Um, I think he's probably going to want to sell it. But this is the Secret Wars number one Miles Morales variant with that famous famous Spider-Man pose from the 90s series. Um, I mean, this has, been, this has been put in a box for a while and stuff. If it's over nine, I think I'd be pretty happy. Jesus! Well, he's looked off that one, hasn't he? Flipping heck. I did not expect that. 9.8 on one that my brother just had that was just shoved away. King in Black. So this is the um, Clayton Crane variant cover A. I did have a Virgin cover, which I gave away on a, as a giveaway when I launched this channel. This is a great cover, just with the fire, the Clayton Crane. It is amazing. Now, this was originally going to be for my personal collection. However, I don't know. It just it doesn't quite fit what I'm doing with the Venom side of things now, what I'm planning. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Let's see. This, this came brand new. So, if this isn't a 9.8, I'll be very disappointed. And it is a 9.8. Absolutely perfect. That is what I wanted. Oh. That's annoying. See, this is my biggest, biggest bugbear with CGC. I don't know if you can see it there. Let's see if I can get it to show. But there. You can see it there. Newton rings. It's only just come back. It's only just come back. The fact that the fact that you can get a comic graded, get it back, and it come back with Newton rings like you know I know we've seen we've seen lots of comics come back with like blunted edges and mishandling and chips and stuff that is really bad and that is a massive quality control issue and they need to sort that Newton rings for me is another massive one CBCS doesn't have them like just just change your manufacturing change it so that doesn't happen that is huge I've got them on my I've got on my Avengers 4 as well, and I remember when I first saw it, I thought it was water damage or like water inside the case. 
that's really annoying for a brand new case to come back and immediately have Newton rings is a massive issue in my opinion um that's that's really frustrating because you know it affects it affects the desirability of the comic as well because why do you want to fork out so much for a comic where it's got a massive like that weird bubble in it so cgc bad note for me there so this should be the house of m it is i absolutely adore this cover it it picked up some heat with one division as did everything else i bought this i bought this last year i think i paid about 20 quid for it and then one division dropped and i was seeing roars going for like 100 150 which is absolutely mad to me because you know it is it is just a cool cover i mean i know that drives up the prices sometimes but come on so this is absolutely for the personal collection what's it going to come as i i would love a 9.8 but i highly doubt it 9.4 or above i'd be happy with i guess 9.2 but in the end it's staying in the personal collection so it's not too much of a biggie 9.2 as i said yeah bit bit of chipping but that is just a glorious glorious cover i absolutely like that and so far we haven't dropped below a nine let's see and the last one i have seen uh, unfortunately this is the other captain marvel this is the one that began up for sale the peach momoko captain marvel i love this cover i really do like the fact that she's aviator pilot and everything like that peach momoko's art i think is great i love them for covers i can understand some people don't like them but it is a piece of opinion now the very the variant the virgin came out at 9.8 this has come out as 9.8 as well as mentioned i had seen that that is lovely um i do apologize for the glare so that's my best return what we got 9.8 9.2 9.8 9.4 so i'm absolutely over the moon with that i really am um nothing below a nine great stuff for my personal collection um so we'll start off with what i've got staying in the personal collection just a reminder just a quick one amazing spider-man 375 and a 9.0 That's staying in the PC. Amazing Spider-Man 362 in a 9.4 goes absolutely perfectly with my uh, 361. And then the House of M variant, the Quisada variant, such a good, such a good cover. 9.2. That's in the personal collection. Coming out for sale, obviously prices and stuff to be to be determined. Check out VenoviCollectibles.com. These will be going live on the store at 12 p.m. Friday. So 12 p.m. tomorrow. Um, midday tomorrow these will be going live on the store they will all be set there there will also be some more roars going up um to begin with i'm going to think i'm aiming for a friday 12 p.m 12 p.m friday 12 p.m stock release so make sure you check back these will all be going up so you got four number one in a 9.4 absolutely glorious cover oh i got it wrong that's that that's going in the personal collection as well that's not for sale so it's a nice split, four and four. Secret Wars number one, which I'm absolutely astonished got a 9.8. I really am. Uh, the King in Black number one. And then the Captain Marvel Stick 16, the Peach Momoko with the trade cover. So, yeah, guys, if you are interested in any of those comics, check out vanova-collectibles.com. We've also got a lot of other graded stuff um, in stock at the moment. Um, sold a couple, but there's still a fair bit there. Loads of raw keys, loads of raw filler issues. As I say, more going to be added up. Um, I've got about three boxes still yet to add. And I'm going to be aiming for a weekly Friday one. We've also got some more CGCs coming back. Um, which we'll see on those channel when they land. I've also just sent off a massive... Well, they're being cleaned and pressed at the moment. with an amazing batch from that collection. Uh, which we'll go over when they get returned and stuff. But that's going to be in a few months time. But guys, please do check out VanovaCollectibles.com. Links down below. Um, lots of stuff there. And... You know, I, I want to do a Q&A on this soon, but one of the main things that I want to do with my stock 
and with the stuff that I get in and with the stuff that I put up for sale, barring the filler issues, because filler issues are what they are, but the slabs and things like that is going to be stuff that I personally would want in my personal collection or that I would choose if I was going down that route. My personal collection is quite refined um, for the time being. Um, so yeah, I kind of wanted it. I want it to go down that route. I don't want to put anything up for sale that I think is naff. So when I'm grabbing stuff, when I'm grabbing collections, when I'm grabbing slabs and stuff, I want to put up stuff that I think is cool. My my idea behind it is that if these don't sell, for example, I'm not fussed. <laughs> like okay, yeah, okay, it's. It, it is bad for business and stuff, but I wouldn't mind keeping them in my personal collection and whatnot. So if you do have any questions, there's a contact form on the website or if you're in any of the Facebook groups or follow me on Instagram at VenobiCollectibles um, at Venobi Collectibles on Instagram, also the Facebook page. Just reach out to me and I'll answer any questions. Um, a, few, a few of you guys have done that already and it's been great. I don't mind, don't mind replying to you with any queries, with any extra pictures and stuff like that. So thanks a lot guys please do like the channel if you haven't done so already check out vanovacollectibles.com and i will see you guys next time